A lot of math, a lot of people don't think that uh, it relates to like... Yeah, math is just basically give me numbers, I'll work it out on the calculator. I found a lot of students who were disengaged in class before became really engaged. Some of the things in, you know, state and national curriculums are often not particularly applicable to students' lives. Quadratic equations. I'm not going to really use that in real life. Talking about taxes and federal debt and deficit can connect to their life. As soon as you get a job, you will pay taxes. And they know that. They can see why it matters and why being able to calculate these things is useful. What we're going to do is we're going to split into three groups. One group is going to examine each type of tax. So I looked at the materials from the curriculum, and I, since there were three different types of taxes, that, that sort of lends itself to three different groups, and there are four different people. So I thought it really lent itself to sort of a jigsaw activity where you could group students who are looking at one type of tax. So I handed each of you a card when you came in. It has a letter and a number. If you look at the bottom, there are four different people's incomes. So the number corresponds to which person you're going to be examining, and the letter is which type of tax you're going to do. And then you can take them and have everybody who looked at person one, with a flat, a fixed, and a progressive tax, get together and then they can talk about which one is the most fair for their individual. In your group, you have an expert on a fixed amount tax, you have an expert on a proportional tax, and you have an expert on a progressive tax. You all looked at somebody with the same amount of money. I'd like you to discuss which of these models you think is the most fair. You make less than thirty-five thousand, you still pay two thousand. You make more, you make a million dollars, you still pay two thousand. You make as much as Bill Gates, you still pay two thousand. Can you find the percent of your income that you're paying in taxes? I graphed the amount that my income got, which was thirty-five thousand, and then I multiplied that by two hundred twenty-two because mm -hmm. that's my percent and it gave me seven thousand. Seven thousand. So if you make thirty-five thousand dollars, you have to pay seven thousand seven hundred dollars in taxes. But you had $100,000 a year, you would pay $22,000 in taxes. So that leaves you with just under $80,000. This leaves you with like $25,000. Does that seem fair? No. That's what we're asking you to think about. Some of my students have very low skills. Their actual math skills are low. So conceptually, they understand what's going on. But getting them to calculate a percent of an income it was difficult for some of them. This is the amount you pay in taxes. Okay, can, can you tell me what percent that is of your total income? So that. That's what Carl's trying to figure out how to do too. So maybe you guys can talk to each other. My goal is to get them to ask good questions and to get them to think about this critically and think about, you know, what should be happening? What do I think should be happening? How can you affect these rates? You can get the people together, so sort of grassroots movements. A bunch of people come together. Lorenzo? You vote people in. You vote. You vote for people. You vote for senators. You vote for representatives. Those are the people who make the laws, who write the tax code, who decide how much you have to pay in taxes. There is no right answer. Like These are questions that politicians are struggling with, with our, you know, our legislature and our lawmakers are struggling with these things right now. I don't expect my class of 17 and 18 year olds to be able to solve the problem, but if they don't feel like they like math or the actual math has been hard, this is another access point for the issues. I think a lot more people would focus on this type of math because they're like, this is my life. I got to focus on this. I can actually learn things from this that I'll actually use in the real world. This was more like thinking about not just numbers, thinking about yourself, the economy, and the government. It's more than just math. 